Hi everyone, Forsythia with Cacti on White. Um, I was making a grocery store run and there is a Lowe's right next door to the grocery store. So you know I had to go in. So I'm going to go in to check out to see what plants they have. So I'll take you guys along with me. I wanted to take a minute to thank my subscribers. I think I have about 86 subscribers so far. So I want to thank all of you that have taken the time to hit that subscribe button. Um, if you're new here, this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. I have a lot of plant content. I consider my channel to be a plant lifestyle channel and I would love to have you as part of the Cacti on White family. Go ahead and smash the like button for this video because I think you're going to enjoy it. Um, I enjoy doing plant vlogs and plant hauls and plant shopping, anything plants. So I'm happy to have you here. Let's see what we find in the stores. Hopefully there's something good inside. There's usually something good. So wish me luck. Look at these large uh, sedums, Angelina stone crop for $5. If you've watched one of my previous videos, um, a couple of, uh, maybe a month ago, I picked up some sedums from a nursery in Grapevine, Texas, and they were much more than this. Um, I did plant them out front in my cactus and succulent garden, and the sun fried them. So I think I'm going to pick up a few more here. So I think I'm going to pick up a few containers at $5 each and repot them or replant them out front to give it another go. I like these lighter colored ones um, and they're pretty bushy, you can see. So I think I'll get two of these and two of the those and maybe one or two of these. Guys, look at these, aren't they beautiful? Very large pot of succulents here. Let's get the name. It is Lime Zinger Sedums for eight bucks. I'm definitely gonna get at least one or two containers of these. These are nice, I haven't seen these. And I think they'll be a great addition to my garden. Aren't they lovely? I did not stop here for sedums, but I'm going to pick up some. They look great. Sedums were definitely not on my shopping list today, but you just never know what you're going to find in the big box stores. Guys, this is a rare find at a big box store, uh, at least in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, maybe more prominent in the Arizona. But this is a false apatillo. So let me show you the label. False apatillo, $13. I have a big pot of these that, and I just adore them. They remind me of the Southwest so much. I'm going to pick up two, I think. I think gorgeous. on my way out I spotted these beauties they are called rock and grow boogie woogie for $14 I just love these so I dropped my purchases off in the car and I came back to get one of these Aren't they great? guys I was headed out of Lowe's um, after purchasing my sedums and a cacti and I spotted these on my way to the car Aren't they gorgeous? It's a variegated sedum. Um, the name is uh, Boogie Woogie by Proven Winners. I'm so excited about these. I think they're gonna look great. And look how large they are, the pot is. And they're $14, yeah, $13.98, so $14. Well worth it.
checking out Walmart. Checking out Walmart to see what they have. Uh, nothing is grabbing me. A few nice looking plants. Oh, look at this guy though. Wow. Wow. A Medusioid. Euphorbia. And it is a, or they're saying, Snake Splurge Euphorbia Morii. That's nice. It's huge. That's pretty. Um, what's this guy? A Cressula. Saguaro for 20 bucks. Not bad. Elephant's Bush. San Pedro. So, not too bad of a selection. Let's walk around, see what we got. See a Choya, one of my favorites, but I won't pick one up today. The only thing that's semi-tempting to me is the Euphorbia over there. So, let me decide. They actually have some sedum here, the um, Sun Sparkler Lime Zinger. But since I just picked up three, I probably won't get that. Um, still contemplating. I probably won't get anything, even though this guy is quite tempting. Do you guys see anything that you would pick up? Some of them look a little rough, like overwatered. They are outside, so we've had a lot of rain. So I'm thinking they have had some issues with uh, being overwatered due to the rain. So I usually try to avoid when I see that's happened. You know, quite a few of them are rotting because of being overwatered, which I think it's probably from rain. That guy. Ugh. 